The Avid Canada Award is now in its uh, third year, is a leading industry-sponsored award honoring builders with the best customer experience throughout Canada. The winners of the 2009 Avid Canada Awards are determined by Avid Ratings, with nearly 50 direct Canadian home builders being surveyed. Surveys were taken of more than 12,583 homeowners throughout the country to determine the best performing builders. Your results were outstanding. We had over 100% of your customers saying they were willing to recommend. You had overall 266 points out of 300 points on the Avid Index score, which is a combination of the total customer experience and customer loyalty. Your top performing areas were the number of items corrected before homeowners moved in, recommend to family and friends, drywall, warranty policies being clearly explained, and the perception of the number of items listed during their walkthrough. So it's without further delay that I want to honor Heartland Homes, the best builder in all of Canada with a number one score throughout the country with the Avid Diamond Award. Congratulations. They're heavy, so. There you go. Thanks very much, Paul. You're welcome. We're, uh, as a team, we're proud and honored to win this award because customers are central to our business, and I'm proud of the team. They've put in a great amount of effort over the last couple of years to be able to do this, and they've done a great job. Way to go, guys. I have with me today Heartland Homes, the 2009 Avid Canada Diamond Award, the best customer experience throughout Canada. Congratulations to you and your team. I'd like to start off with a question about Karma Developers, which is your parent company. And could you tell me a little bit about the philosophy of Karma, John? And uh, he, uh, you head up the area of home building for both uh, Heartland and Hawthorne Homes. Uh, tell me a little bit about the, the home building division and, and uh, your philosophy toward customer satisfaction. Sure, sure thing. Well, 20 years ago when, uh, when Karma Developers decided to uh, start home building, uh, you know, one of our missions was to uh, was to start a, a company that focused on building high quality homes, uh, and, and a lot of our mandate was to build affordable homes. So we, we you know we decided that we would start a company focused on building affordable homes with a very high quality. Up until that point, uh, a lot of the homes that were built were uh, on the affordable side were built very uh, plain and didn't have a very uh, didn't have a very high uh, uh, focus on architectural design and whatnot, and you know we felt because uh, we're a master plan developer that develops you know large scale communities, we wanted to have you know s s entry level homes, estate homes, move up homes, all integrated into the same community. And up until that point, a lot of the the starter home type were segregated from the community. So you know we felt that in order for us to do a, a a master plan with a set with an integration of product we needed to to build a very high quality product uh, our intention was never to get to be a large builder our intention was always to, to build a very high quality home in a, in a master plan community that enhanced the community so that you know move up buyers and estate buyers could all you know felt good about these homes in our communities and uh, uh, I mean, we started off and, uh, you know, right after we started the company, we were recognized uh, very quickly as, as a, a leader in customer, uh, customer service. At that time, the, the, Alberta, the Alberta New Home Warning Program recognized the top builders and uh, right off the bat, we were winning the awards for customer choice. And a lot of that had to do with our philosophy of, uh, of you know, doing the right thing not building too many homes, but doing building enough homes that we could control, and building the right quality of homes. So we really focused heavy on that. And uh, uh, over the years, we uh, uh, we moved into multifamily. Uh, in uh, in 1995, uh, we started Hawthorne Homes, which is our multifamily division. Same principle, focused on uh, on affordability, but yet a high quality exterior, high quality interior. Focused on customer. Uh, in 2003, we moved our program from Calgary to Edmonton, so we started building homes in Edmonton. Same focus, and uh, I mean, it's proven really well for us, and uh, we've been able to grow the company to uh, to one of the top volume builders in the province, but it was never our intention to do that. Our intention was just to, to build a very high-quality home, and 
enhance our, our communities and uh, uh, we're very proud of the fact that we've uh, been able to grow the company and still continue uh, even with the growth to uh, to be a leader in, in customer satisfaction. Fantastic John, yeah truly the customer satisfaction awards aren't new for, for your companies um, and uh, you've been doing this for a while. Um, tell me from the management team, what other types of things are you guys doing to to maintain this high standard? <laughs> if I jump in here, it's sure. one of our biggest concepts is we want to build a top quality product and be really proud of it. Mm -hmm. We have fantastic customers. If our customers are happy, everybody wins. Um, we've maintained with a lot of our guys, especially in the field, that uh, if they're not enjoying the job, there's no point in doing it. Right. If you're having a good time, you're drawing in good people, you're doing a really good product, what's coming out is you're building homes not just houses, mm -hmm. and you care about the customers, and that's the biggest difference. Customers really mean something to us, and we're proud of what we do. Fantastic, yeah, truly that is the case, where builders that care about their build their, their buyers, uh, show them that the little extras, uh, they're there after the sale and after they move in, are truly the hallmarks of what makes a great builder, so great. I would say the other piece to that that, that I would add is, um, the difference between us and any other builder I feel out there would be that we know we're going to make mistakes. Absolutely, that's just part of the industry. We're not building a mass productive kind of a, uh, an item. There are people out there, they're building the homes, and we know there's going to be mistakes. And when mistakes happen, it is our focus and our goal to make sure that it's rectified to everyone's satisfaction. And that's where I think people see the best of Heartland. Mm -hmm. They can see that when we've made a mistake, we're there, we're going to rectify it. And most of the time, we notice it before they leave. So that's a huge step in the right direction. Fantastic, and that turns to the data as well. You know, the number one area was number of items corrected before moving in, uh, and that was 25 points above the industry average, really a phenomenal number, um, very much almost perfect. So uh, to that point, the customers are resonating that, you know, yeah, there were some items that you guys took care of it before we moved in. You want to add something? Right, and just to what Delay said, I mean, honestly, you know, we've, we've done what we can to make sure we've got honest, genuine people on the team who do care about those customers and empower them to go out there and do the things they need to do. Right. And bringing a culture along in the home building industry is not easy. You know, we deal with a lot of builders throughout North America. And let's face it, uh, you know, we have to deal with trades and some, not all of them are on the right page, <laughs> so to speak. Uh, how do you guys get your trades to perform at this higher level? We only award the work to the trades that are willing to carry on that service into the business and care about the customers as much as we do. Mm -hmm. It's a plain and simple one. So you're monitoring, obviously, uh, mm -hmm. while your trades are doing on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. Yes, cool. The whole atmosphere is a team atmosphere, period. It doesn't matter where it is. And that's one thing that's really unique to Heartland. It's awesome. It's not dog eat dog and pound the work from top to bottom sort of thing. Everybody works together. More of a round table scenario. We sit down, we deal with what we have to deal with, and everybody helps everybody out. And that spreads to the trades. We're a team. Without any one of those key people, we can't do our job. And we appreciate that and understand that. Fantastic. And how about trade turnover? Has it been? I know that in Calgary market, you know, every company I think suffered through the uh, the boom, uh, right? And keeping good quality employees and trades. How are you guys faring with that? If uh, some trades have been with us for a while, or or you know, you're turning them over as needed, but bringing the best out of them. We are turning trades over as required, but it's very informed. Yeah. Um, we try to really work with and create that team atmosphere, and they understand what our goals are. They want to be part of that. Right. To run a company our size and have the zero deficiency turnovers that we're really uh, striving for is a huge goal, and everybody's happy to be part of that. They're really proud to be part of that, and it says a lot for our trades because it's not us physically hammering the nails and doing the drywall. It's our trades doing that. Yes. So it says a lot for our trade group. So we've got some great guys. We've got some that have been back. I think it's about 14 years that they've been with us. So yeah, it's really stable. But that comes from the whole attitude from the top of the company right down through all of us. Fantastic. Yeah, 80 percent of employees in a home building company are really, are the trades. Mm -hmm. So managing them is is absolutely critical. And to your point, uh, number five in the top.